Scarloe, the little engine, loves all the sights and sounds along his line and knows them very well. One morning, soon after he returned from being mended, he was enjoying his journey more than ever before. Along the way, he met Rusty. You know, he said, if I couldn't see these familiar faces and places, I'd think I was on a different railway. You've done wonders with these rails. Rusty laughed. I'm glad you're pleased. Manager said, let's mend the track so well that he won't know where he is. And we did. And you didn't, if you take my meaning. Scarloe liked this hard-working diesel. There's still one bad bit, warned Rusty, just before the first station. An engine might come off there, particularly Duncan. He will rock and roll along the line. Look at him right now. I hope he doesn't hurt his passengers. What's that about me? I'm a plane engine, and I believe in plane speaking. Speak up! Rusty warned Duncan about the bad bit of rail. Huh. I know my way about. I don't need smelly diesels to tell me what to do. Rusty felt hurt. Duncan banged about the yard. Then he clattered crossly to the station. James was already there, waiting for him. You're late, he snapped. I know, said Duncan. It's that smelly diesel's fault. Rusty tries to teach me how to stay on the rails and then goes off leaving me to find my own coaches. You poor engine, sympathized James. I know all about diesels. One crept into our yard and ordered us about. I soon sent him packing. Duncan was filled with admiration. He didn't know that James was boastful and sometimes didn't tell the truth. Send Rusty packing! Send Rusty packing! snorted Duncan. He climbed the hill furiously. Well done, boy, encouraged his driver. Keep it up. Soon they were near the first station. Duncan was pleased. Nothing's happened. Nothing's happened, silly old diesel. Clever me. And he rocked and rolled along the line. Steady, boy, checked his driver. But it was too late. Sleepers and ballast, I'm off. And he was. I warned him, said Rusty. But all he did was call me names. The little diesel refused to move. I'm ashamed of you, Rusty, said Scarloe. Think of the passengers. What are they going to do? Oh, I'd forgotten them. Yes, of course. We must help the passengers. And Rusty roared into life. Duncan stood sad and solitary. He couldn't rock and roll now. Oh dear, he thought. Everyone will know how silly I am. The passengers had to get out and help too. They weren't very pleased about that, but worked as hard as they could. They carefully levered Duncan back onto the line. After that, Duncan was extra careful all day. At last, evening came. Rusty, he whispered, thank you for helping. I'm sorry I was rude to you. That's all right, Duncan. I wish all diesels were like you. Let's be friends. Suits me, replied Rusty. We'll mend that bad bit of rail first thing tomorrow. <laughs> 